Pranam Guruji, can you please elaborate further on the astral and causal bodies? Is the causal body the same as the individual soul or atma? And how does the astral body differ from etheric body? Many thanks. So nowadays lots of English questions. We each living being as the soul live in three bodies together. Gross body, astral body and causal body. The body which you see in front of the mirror or through your eyes, it is gross body made of five elements, lives with five elements. After death, the gross body stays there and disintegrates into five elements. Apart from this gross body, we have astral body and causal body. Other name of astral body is subtle body. Astral body is consisting of 17 in others view 19 constituents. Five organs of perception, not the eyes, the power of seeing, power of hearing, power of smelling, power of tasting, power of touching, five organs of action, five pranas, vital breath, mind, intellect, 17, ego and memory, 19. This is the astral body. We enjoy the world with the help of the physical body and the astral body. With, when we sleep, physical body sleeps, astral body is active. Other name of astral body for understanding is psychological body. Emotion, thinking and causal body is the cause of our birth, rebirth and ultimate liberation. Cause of our birth and rebirth is our ignorance. So the only ingredient of causal body is ignorance or in other words also knowledge. We can call astral body causal body. We can call causal body as body of ignorance or body of knowledge. It is not the same as soul or the Atma. What you speak of etheric body, it is a modern concept, maybe in new age discussion. Astral and causal body taken together, you can call it as etheric body, but in spiritual text, especially in Yoga Vasistha, it is described as Ati Vahika Sarira. The body which can move without the help of gross body.